Your digital products deserve to look as good as they sell. So come behind the scenes as I create mock-ups in Canva that stop the scroll. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, how do I create these done-for-you collection mock-ups that are showing you different digital products that are inside of my collection? You are a Coach Simplify Academy member. You get 150 course mock-ups that you can use to create your digital products. And you get these mock-ups instantly when you join. So if that's something that you're interested in, and you are not a Coach Simplify Academy member, the link below to join for 14 days free is below, and you can instantly download these 150 course mockups. The first thing I like to do when I start to create my mockups is to start with a foundation, a format. So I like the size of a social media graphic. I go into my search, I type in social media, I like to start with a, a blank document. And so this will be it. And then before you even start your mock-ups, you need to have your products already created. For this demonstration, we're going to work with the slide deck, which are PowerPoint slides, a mini ebook, the workbook. These documents have already been created in a different formats. My only job is to create a mock-up to show people what the product will look like. Although most of these products are digital, people still want to see these products on their computer, tablet, or phones. So I'm creating an illusion of what these products look like. The first thing I'm gonna do is open up the mock-up collection. Now, here are all of the 150 different types of mock-ups. And I'm starting off with the slide deck. I want a laptop or a desktop computer screen. So as you can see, I got a lot of choices. I'm going to start here. I'm not going to overthink it. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to bring it over to that blank document I created earlier. So then I'm going to go back to my collection, which was the slide deck. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. The only thing I need is the first slide. I can do this two ways. I can download the PNG, the, the first slide, so I can go here and make sure it don't, it's on current page, and then I can hit and then download. So that's going to download for me. Now, if I'm feeling a little lazy, I can do the next option. And the next option is on most computers, you have what is called a snipping tool or a screen capture tool. On my computer, it is called Snipping Tool, and it's going to pop up on your computer. It might be a screen capture, but I click on it, and I select New, and then this blue cross will pop up. I am only going to select what I need, and then I can just right-click on a picture, hit Copy, and then bring it right into my document. So this is what you're gonna see me do next. And then all I have to do is hit paste. And there it is. You can do it my way, but sometimes doing it in a copy and paste way doesn't automatically drop into this box. So you have to upload it. Even though I copied and pasted it into my document, it is still in my upload. So I'm going to go ahead and hit delete. Then I'm going to drag it. And it should just populate right into that document, but sometimes it doesn't do that. All right, you can copy and paste it right into your document. Sometimes these mock-up elements are grouped and you need to ungroup them first. So that's why this picture is not automatically 
dropping into that picture frame. So I need to ungroup this mock-up, right click and ungroup it. So now my two pieces are ungrouped. And so I am going to move this out the way and I am going to make sure it's ungrouped. I'm going to position my computer screen to the back so that my photo frame is to the front. Now all I gotta do is drag that and it pops right into that picture frame. And then after that, I wanna make sure I send this picture to the back. So now we have it all centered and I'm gonna select it all and then group that, okay? Now I have my slide deck complete. Now I wanna create a new page and I'm gonna create all of my elements first and then we're going to put them all together into a collection. So the next document I'm going to work with is the mini ebook. So I'm going to go back to my course mockup. I'm going to look for an ebook or a book cover. I think I'm going to use the tablet form. Let's go here. This is a group tablet. I need to look for an individual tablet so I don't have to ungroup anything. So let's look. Oh, here's one right here. Let's click on this. I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to bring it over to my original design here. And I'm going to enlarge it like the full page. And so I've already captured the first page of my ebook. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to hit paste. Paste. There we go. And that drops right in there. So that's good to go. All right. The next product I want to create a mock-up of is the workbook. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to take a screenshot of it because that's the lazy way for me. <laughs> I can get it a lot faster when I use this screen capture tool. I'm going to hit copy and go back over to my social media document. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit a new page. I'm going to go ahead and drop these because I want to grab two other pages in my workbook. Let's go back. And I want to grab this page as well because I want people to see what's in it. So these are going to be individual pages. I'm going to hit new and capture that one. And bring that over as well. Then I'm going to do one more page. I think I'm going to do this page. I'm done with that one. I'm going to bring this up. All right. So that's my three pages. The next thing I need to do is go and find the mock-up for this workbook that I want to choose. So let's go over to that. First, let me create a new page because I'm going to put that mock-up on this page right here. So let's go over to mock-ups and let me view all the mock-ups and see which one. These will be like the individual pages. And you might want to go with this one. So I had to copy the first one and then duplicate. That's in a group too. So I'm going to ungroup this because it's going to be fast. Copy this one. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just leave them ungrouped. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to drop that here. This is going to serve as my cover page of my workbook. So what I'm going to do is just drag it down and pop it there. That's the cover of our workbook. If you need to move it around, you can double click and move it around a little bit. There it is. I think I want to enlarge it just a tad bit. Okay, there we go. Now the next page is the individual pages so people can get an idea what's inside of the workbook. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste. And I'm going to make it a little smaller so that I know these are the inside pages of my workbook. And then I'm just going to drag that there. And I'll drag this here. So I've got my two pages right there. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this page. And what I'm going to do is the first thing, because I like to create depth. So I'm going to select my cover and go to edit. And I am going to put a shadow. So I'm going to do a drop shadow behind this one. So y'all see that dark shadow behind that one? And then I'm going to do that for the pages, individual pages. I'll go over here to effects, to shadow, to drop shadow. So now that has a drop shadow. I'm going to do the same thing for the other page, drop shadow. So now all three pages have drop shadows. 
I'm going to put the cover of my workbook in the center. Then I'm going to move these pages toward the back. I want to make sure my pages are on the same size. So I'm going to grab them at the corner and make sure they're about the same size. All right. So I'm going to send this page to the back. I'm going to send this page to the back. Now, I could keep it like this, but sometimes I like to show a little bit more action and a little bit more of the pages. I'm going to angle it a little bit to ensure we have some. Now, once we've had that, I'm going to group this to make sure they're all grouped. Now that we have this one, I'm not sure if I group this one. So let me group this one as well. Yep, I think I think that's group two. Yeah, that's group. Okay, and we're good. So we've got these three mockups. Now I want to put them together to create a collection. So what I'm going to do, I'm still going to do this in this same format size. So I'm going to add another page. I'm going to double click and I am going to copy. I always like to copy, not just move because just in case something happens, I still have the original. I'm going to hit paste. Okay. So that's going to be my center because the computer screen is the biggest, right? So I want that to be in that. And now I'm going to bring my tablet to the front. So I copy that one. I'm going to hit paste. So I'm going to bring that and I'm going to size this down because a tablet is smaller than a computer screen. And I also want to be mindful to not do too much overlapping on the text. Next, I'm going to bring in my workbook. I copy that and now I'm going to paste it and then I'm going to size that down. And I'm going to bring that down here. Okay, And then I'm going to move this up just a tad bit. Okay, there we go. This is a great mock-up. You can stop right now and download this, like click on this slide, go to share, download, PNG, make sure it is a transparent background just in case you want to add this onto a flyer, you want to put it on a banner, anywhere you just want to make sure it's transparent so that you don't have this white background. You want to do transparent and you want to go to select the current page and then hit download. This is fine as is. If I want to give it just a little bit extra, I'm going to put a little bit of embellishment or additional elements. So what I'm going to do is go over here to elements. And I want to put, because this is for coaches who are working from home, I think of things that they might have on their desk. So I'm going to put a stapler. So I'm going to elements and I'm going to look for stapler. I'm hit enter. And if you're on the free account and you want to make sure your elements are free, you can always click on the sliders, go down to free, and then click off. And these are all the elements that are free, right? So I can use all these elements because they're free. But I'm on a paid account, so I'm going to go with pro ones and not necessarily the free ones and see what pops up. Now I've got a stapler and these staplers do have backgrounds and that's okay because we can remove them. Yes, we can. And I want to, I'm going to go with this black. This black one already has the background removed. So I'm going to size this down and be careful because sometimes these elements will populate inside of your mockup. So I'm just going to size it down to ensure that it really doesn't populate. And now use your arrow keys on your keyboard. And I'm going to move it over here. And I'm going to put it right there and move it up. All right. So what else is on someone's desk? Sometimes there's a pens. So I'm going to look for pens. And I like this one. This black one popped up. And I'm going to size this down as well. And then I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard to move it. Just making sure that you lock the image. But y'all know I'm trying to do things fast and not worry about all that other stuff. So this is what works for me. Just using my keyboard arrows. And I'm going to lay that there. And I'm going to size it a little bit. All right? And then most people might have a plant. So I'm going to look for a desk plant on the desk. Oh, this was a good one. So I'm going to click here 
And when I move this one, nine times out of ten, it's going to try to populate inside one of my mock-ups. But I'm going to be careful to move it. And then I'm going to size it down over here. And I am going to move it to the back, like to the back of the workbook. So I go to position. And you can use layers and I can move it this way down. Or you can go to a range and then I just hit backwards. I don't want it that far behind the computer. So I'm going to bring it forward a little bit. I think I might make it a little smaller. Sometimes those little small little elements just gives your design a little bit more of a juicin up. Okay. Let me try this too and see if it looks okay. I'm going to copy it before I delete it. I'll move it here, make it smaller, and move my pen over here. Delete that one. Maybe move this over, right? I think I like it like that. All right, so now that's how I would zhuzh it up. <laughs> and again, I would select all of these. I would make sure they're all grouped. And then I would download it as a transparency. I'm going to make sure I'm selecting just the current page. And now I'm going to hit download. There we go. Now it's downloading. Now I can use this mock-up on any flyer, any banner, etc. I can now use that. So let me show you what that might look like. Okay, so this looks like a postcard of some sort. I am going to delete this image here. I'm going to change maybe some coloring, you know, to so that it fits my current color scheme. Let's change all that to black. I'm going to put the name of the course here, which was, I think, confidence. Let's go ahead and just put confidence. Go ahead and make that black. I'm going to size it down and move that up. We're going to put confidence in all capital letters. Size it. And I'm going to put online. This is just an example. Yours will be different, but I wanted to show you how I use my mock ups. I'm going to go up here to upload, upload, find my mock up, transparent mock up, wait for it to load, and paste it right here. As you can see, because I have a transparent background, it can overlap on different colors, on top of different textures, etc. And you don't have to worry about the white background. If you download it and it does have the white background, you can click and hit remove background. So that's it. That's how you create a digital product that deserves to look good as it sells. All right, you guys have an awesome and blessed day. And I'll be talking to you later. Peace out.